Good morning, everybody. Hi, Lumpers. Lumpy needs a bath. Andy needs a haircut. Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. We're going to talk about them a little bit later. Um, this is just kind of a little catch-up video, a little ship and shop. Angie and I went thrifting at Savers earlier this week. Um, it was a pretty modest haul, but we always have a good time. Ange ended up finding some fun jewelry, so she does a little jewelry haul at the end. Um, and I didn't see what she bought in store, so I just saw what she got. Last week, I put out my six-year anniversary Q&A. Thank you so much to everybody who sent in questions and to everybody who watched. There was a portion of that video that I ended up taking out because the video was so long, and that was just a quick um, shipping portion at the beginning of that video. We're going to jump back and I'm going to show you some of the things that sold on Poshmark and eBay last week. And then I have a couple items that sold earlier this week. And I actually had a few things sell this morning on eBay. So actually I'll start with those. I feel like his paws were all wet. He was just outside. Three things that sold on eBay. These all came in this morning or just before bed last night. This one, Incas, leather lace up booties, women's size 12, men's size 10. These are kind of a Southwestern looking lace up boot. They have like kind of a tapestry fun print on the side. I've had those for a while. They sold via promoted listing. Um, they sold for $30 and the buyer paid $9.99 for shipping. I also sold this BCBG Max Osria lemongrass v-neck v -neck dress tunic in a size extra large. I think I had this listed for $49 and somebody, I don't know if it was this particular buyer, but somebody offered me $10 a couple days ago and I just straight out declined it. Then this morning they offered 21, so I countered at 34, kind of met in the middle, and they accepted. So buyer paid $6.99 for shipping. It's a really nice dress. It's new with tags. I think I may have bought that to try myself and then didn't keep it, but it's been around for a bit. And lastly, I picked up these PacSun men's brown striped linen pants in a size medium. Those sold for full asking price um, for $27. These may have been purchased. Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. I don't think that I realized these were men's pants, but they looked like a newer style. And then when we found stock photos, we realized they were men's pants, but they're really nice. So $27 and the buyer paid $6.99 for shipping. I have to go grab those items and get them out today. Let's jump back and I'll have a couple days worth of shipping for you. And then we'll have a quick jaunt to savers and a really quick haul at the end. If you enjoy the hunt of thrifting and you want to come along with me and my thrift adventures, see items that I pick up for reselling or for myself, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an update. Upload. All right, let's jump back and see what sold this week. Hey everybody, good morning. It is Thursday, August 22nd, and I am pulling some sales this morning to go out. This is the first 18 is working this week, so we have a lot to ship out. This is a Talbot's woven bag that I thought was really great. It sold for $24 on eBay. I think I had it listed for $32, and um, I went in. I hadn't sent out offers in a very long time on eBay, and a bunch of stuff sold, this being one of them. This item is hanging right here, so I'm going to grab this. This is a New Yorker bag that I picked up at the bins. We um, we had steamed it and we've been just air drying it here. But the box is here because it was new with box. I got this at the bins and um, I listed it for $29 and it sold for full asking price on Poshmark. So I was really happy about that. Don't sleep on these New Yorker bags. This is a classic. Okay, this is a French brand wool cashmere blend jacket that sold. I picked this up. It really reminded me a bit of Prairie Underground. If you know that brand, um, that's out of the Pacific North Northwest. This brand is called Indies. I'd never heard of the brand, but I just couldn't pass it up because of the quality of the piece and the detail and textures and fabric content and all that good stuff. I think I had it listed at 129 and it's been listed for some time. And I sent out offers on this for $84 on, on um, sorry, eBay offers to watchers and this sold. And then some faux leather pants sold and they went to the same buyer. I also sent offers on those as well. So this is gonna be a little bundle package for eBay, which doesn't happen very often. All right, and here are the Bagatelle pants. They are this really beautiful um, caramel brown faux leather pant, and they're lined with this soft, soft, um, like fleece material. I actually bought these for myself 
at TJ Maxx. I had since bought some Spanx that I just preferred over these. The Spanx are black, but they're a faux leather and I really like them. So I never ended up wearing these. So these sold for $23 and they're getting shipped with this jacket. Sorry, the lighting is bad. Lumpy, what are you doing, young man? Are you quite comfortable in that Ikea bag? <laughs> you look like you're a model for, you know, puppy play pup. <laughs> Hold that pose. You are hysterical, young man. So this is a bag of donations, so I don't want anyone to think he's like living in the inventory. Mm -mm. I brought these upstairs because the lighting was not working for me downstairs. These are Donald Kleiner loafers um, that I would say are new without tag. They're really nice. I feel like I paid up a little bit for these. I'll have to look. Um, if I can find the price, I'll put it on the screen for you. Anyways, they sold for $64. I had them listed for 75. This actually came to me on an offer um, on eBay. These are really nice loafers. And I've been storing them in the mailers that you get for free from USPS. I just order these online. I've been slowly dwindling my shoe inventory. And so recently I've just been taking the boxes that I'm storing them in and bringing them upstairs to ship right in the box as we kind of condense that area a bit. Just jumping in to do a quick mention for today's sponsor, Vendu. Vendu is a cross-listing service that allows you to bring your items to multiple marketplaces. My two main selling platforms are Poshmark and eBay, but you can also list your items on marketplaces such as Depop, Grail, Etsy, Kittison, Mercari, and more. As resellers, we don't want to leave money on the table, and Vendu helps you with your business. With Vendu, you can list faster because you put all of your information in one place and then blast it out to different platforms, oftentimes just taking less than a minute to tweak little details that each platform might have. You can simplify and accelerate your listing process with Vendu. List better. Vendu gives you options to enhance your listings with so many tools. One that comes to mind right away is there's an area where you can write your SKU number in. That could be an inventory number. You can list multi-quantity. There's also labels you can give all of your listings. The label that I use the most is when something Thing comes from my personal closet so if I didn't purchase it in a thrift store I will just write closet and that way I know it's from my own personal stuff and that's not something that I invested in for my business they have all these little tools to just make it all so easy for you you can list to more places by cross listing your items you reach more marketplaces and you maximize your sales opportunities you can explore new audiences you may end up loving the audience on Depop versus the customers that you typically see on a different platform. You'll be able to discover and engage with new buyer segments across the multiple marketplaces with Vendu. If you want to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. Don't leave money on the table. Sign up with Vendu today and watch your business take off. Thanks again to Vendu. This is a pair of Gucci sneakers that we bought for Angelina when we were in Italy in 2019. She was very excited to get these and she took really excellent care of them. They sold on eBay. They've been paid for. I listed them for $249 around that ballpark. They sold for $195. They're just neutral and they have the Gucci, the GGs all over. Very subtle, in great condition. It's probably about what we paid for them in 2019. Also, this was not intended to be retail arbitrage, but these were some traveler's notebook inserts that I purchased when I was in Japan. And I went a little crazy with the stationery over there. So when I looked at everything, I had bought duplicates of some things. I decided to list these items. And these are from Starbucks Reserve. These Starbucks Reserve inserts are only sold at the Starbucks in Japan. So I listed these six items for $99. I received a pretty generous offer with these and a notebook cover and a sweater last week. But I, something told me to just hold out because it was still like 20 to 30% off. And these I'm kind of just breaking even on. Anyways, I listed these for $99 and they sold for full asking price. Crazy, right? Just a little couple stationary inserts. The planner community is crazy and I include myself in that craziness. This is an All Saints sweatshirt. I took a $25 offer on this because what I didn't realize when we were listing it or before we listed it is that there was some discoloration in the shoulder. Um, so I think I listed it for $38 and I accepted a $25 offer because of the 
flaw. This really surprised me. This is like a vintage champion sweatshirt that I think was Rocco's or Angie's and they just threw in the donate pile. So Tina and I listed it. It doesn't even have a C like the little champion embroidered. It is reverse weave. It sold for full asking price on eBay for $32. And lastly, this is a funky bag. It is new with tag. It is by Maggie Powers, Maggie Powers. This was in our death pile. I had listed it at one point or drafted it and then lost track of it. And when we were going through my back room, we decided to list it again. It's new with tag. And this also sold for full asking price on eBay for $39.99 with $9.99 shipping. I always charge shipping on eBay. This may cost a little bit more than that. It's kind of a heavy bag. That's all for today's things going out that I'm gonna share with you right now. Look at all of these donations at Savers. This is just all sitting outside. I'm about to donate a bunch of stuff too because I cleared out some of my mom's basement but this is just crazy. They're gonna tell me that I'm not gold because I only buy anything that's gold. I'm here with Angie again. Last time we could not find any belts. Pull up, my landlord's calling me. This is a really cool crossbody bag. Um, the brand is Casey Jagger. Some of the comps are pretty decent, but they want $20 for this and there's some um, scraping on it. It's not in the best condition. That's what I'm trying to say. But the comps are pretty good on the leather pieces, but not everything's leather. Here's a cute little sack roots that would have been fun for back to school, but it's all torn up here on the edge, which is too bad because I really like that vibe. Let me see. Yeah. These are really cute. Piper's in trouble. Piper's in trouble. These are like brand new, Angie. I can't tell if they're hideous. I, I kind of feel like yeah. this dad shoe is a thing now. You would know better than me. No, they're they're, not there's as big anymore. there's probably like a number, the 336. Are those good? How much are those? They're 13. That's not bad. You don't love them? I think they're really cute. You should try them on. Just see how they feel. Pull it up a little bit, but it's really cute. I think I'm gonna try this dress. It's new with tag, it's a size 14. I think that'll be cute. I also really like this brand. This is just a little leather pouch. And I looked inside, I've bought this before. It's Davies out of Worcester, it was a shop. I think back in the like 60s and 70s, but it's just a really cute leather zip. It's a whole set of these. They all say pasta. My new thing is I've been trying to find versions of any Jane Austen books at the thrift store. Um, so this is the literature section. Ooh, right here, Jane Austen. Mary Shelley Frankenstein, Pride and Prejudice. Hmm, I don't love this version. I'm looking for fun, pretty copies of Pride and Prejudice. And I also just started reading Jane Eyre and it's so good. Not just Pride and Prejudice, any of her books. Specifically, I would love to find some of the um, illustrated versions, but I'm not having the best luck. Okay, so at Savers, Angie checked out separate from me, um, and I had a couple coupons. I had one coupon that was $10 off a $25 purchase. I ended up only spending $18.47 on three items. And then I went through the line again, I had a 20% off coupon. Sometimes I'll save my coupons for larger purchases, but I've been making a lot of donations lately. So I have a lot of coupons hanging around. I got two items for $14.23. All in, I spent about $32 on five items. Only a couple were actually for resale. So Ange picked up a purse and some jewelry, which I'll show you in a second. She also picked up these white pants. She's getting ready to leave for Madrid in just a couple weeks. I can't believe it. We're waiting for her visa to come in and um, she's at the doctor right now. She just left to get clearance on her foot. If you guys didn't know, Angelina fell while she was working on Nantucket Island this summer. She broke her ankle, so she's been home for probably a little over a month. So she had to go see an orthopedic. She's feeling much better, but today was her appointment to see if she gets clearance to stop wearing the boot. So fingers crossed, that's where she is right now. She's feeling much better. 
She got these fun white pants from Madrid. Ooh, I don't know if she knew there was quite this slit up the side. Scandalous. <laughs> but they're really cute, very beachy. I think Barcelona is much more of a beach city, um, but she still is very much in summer mode. And then she picked up this skirt. She's been wearing all these fun vintage midi skirts. And I think she tried this on at Savers. It's a little big, but I think she was wearing it lower on her hips. I think it'll look really cute for teaching. She's gonna be teaching over in Madrid. So she picked up a couple things. It's, it's so funny. I've been thrifting with her all summer, which has been such a treat. And it's really just so much fun to see what she's picking up versus what I pick up because they're vastly different. Although I do like a good vintage midi skirt, a floral one. I just have so many dresses and so many skirts. I have to really be taken by it to bring it home with me. Um, but that one's really cute. I showed this in store. This is a brand that I've picked up once before. It's Davies of Worcester, Mass. Let me know if you, in the comments if you're from this area, if you remember Davies. I do not, but I have picked the this brand up a couple of times. I think it must have just been a shop in the city. So here's the, let me, let me get in close and show you the tag. Davies. It's just this really nice pebbled leather in this ivory color. It has this little plate here, but it doesn't say anything on it, which is kind of random. It's not branded. It's just like a little decorative um, gold plate. And then it just zips at the top. I've been purchasing a lot of small leather goods lately. When we went to London, I went to Harrods and to Mulberry. And I'm always on the hunt for leather covers to um, like notebooks that I use for journaling. So these pieces are always on my radar. And whenever I can find a nice piece, I think this was $4.99. And then I had 20% off or the $10 off at 25. So potentially over 30% off. So this is a really cute piece. It probably won't sell for more than $30, but I'll probably list it at about 32 and see how it does. It's really beautiful. It's in excellent condition. And small leather goods can be so expensive. So I really appreciate something that's well-constructed and timeless like this is just great. I definitely think I could fit my big honkin' phone in here, as well as maybe a couple credit cards. Uh, if you just wanted to use a clutch, it's also great for makeup or anything like that. Oh yes, $4.99. And green was the new ticket, so that, um, that had just come out. They actually had a rack full of purses and there wasn't, there wasn't anything too exciting on it except for this, so I grabbed it. I do wanna see if my phone fits though. My phone case is made out of silicone, so it's always like so sticky getting in places, but it does fit in there quite nicely. It makes a great little clutch. You can fit a lipstick in here and a couple credit cards and some cash, so you could be on your way, and it's really cute. Also, I picked up this black dress. I'm going to try this on, and if it doesn't fit me, I will sell it. it this was $17.99 before the sale, which is definitely pricey. Okay, I almost forgot to try this on. I'm in Angie's room because she has a better mirror. Um, it's not bad, it's a little loose up top here. Hi Lumps, Lumpy, what do you think? Um, I do like the V-neck, I like the neckline. I feel like this, sometimes I like my belts even higher and some Spanx would be nice always, but I like that the big part of my arm is covered and yeah, the, the length is nice. It's just above my knee. Keep it or sell it. It is a DKNY new with tag dress. And I just think it's a really flattering style, or at least I hope it is. I love V-necks. I was just going through my drawers and I think I'm literally going to get rid of anything that's not V-neck. Cause every time I put on something that's crew neck, I end up taking it off and not loving it. I'm just trying to get the original price on this. So I'm peeling off the sale tickets. So let's see how I don't want to rip the price off of this. Looks like the original price, they have it as like maybe 119. So it's DKNY, it's short sleeve, and it's like this really pretty ribbed crossover. I'm gonna give this a try, and I like the length of it. It's not too short. Jay always has his holiday parties early in December, and I just feel like this would be a really nice dress for that. Sometimes we have fundraising events that we go to. Now I wanna show you the things that Angie picked out. Um, she gave me a quick little haul while she was eating her breakfast before she left for her doctor's appointment. So Angie checked out separately, and she got this really cute little tapestry bag with this really pretty gold chain. It's adorable. Just a nice little pop of color and pattern and texture for any outfit. Hi, Ange. Hi. 
as you're eating your breakfast. <laughs> um, Angie got some really cute jewelry too, and I wasn't with you at the checkout. Oh, I don't have it all on, but I have a good amount of it. Who's your jewelry lady who we love so much? Jolanda. Jolanda. She's my girl. She's the best. <laughs> She's helped you like a couple times with your jewelry. Because she always works at the counter at Savers for jewelry, mm -hmm. and you have to like ask them to get you, you have to be like, okay, I'll have that. That bin, and then they'll pick it up. And she knows your style now. She pulls out the gold. Yeah, she does. She's so sweet. Your um, breakfast looks delicious. Oh, don't look at it. The, the, the avocado is brown. Um, it's not bad. Okay, okay, so let's see what we got at Savers. Only, I actually think only this is from Savers the other day. I got this. I think that was like $2. So this was probably like this. 3 This was 24 which was like a lot for Savers. Didn't you? You'll have to tell me the I brand on that because it was a Swiss brand. Yeah, it was some fancy Swiss brand, and I thought it was cool. And then I got this necklace. Not this one. This one's from TJ Maxx. This one's love from this Savers, one. Yeah. I love this one. Yeah. And show them the and she stole this ring from Oh, me. that one's my mom's. And that <laughs> one's from Buffalo Exchange. Okay. And this is from Francesca's in middle school. So <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> It stood the test of time. It has. <laughs> all right, everybody, that is all for today's video. Thanks again to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in my description to save 25% off your first month of service. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I will be back soon with another video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.